Hey, hi, my name is Chastity and welcome to my channel. Here we talk about beauty, entertainment, celebrity, TV shows, movies, books, animes, and anything else that garners my attention this week. So this weekend, Daniel Caesar was trending again. And as I was like scrolling through the tag, I realized that, like a lot of people were like unaware of the reasons why he got canceled. And when he did get canceled, I unfortunately hadn't started my channel yet. And that is something I would have loved to talk about. So now that he's trending, that he's a hot topic again, I thought I'd make this video about this very curious case. So let's start from the beginning. This all started last year with a white woman, of course it does, with a white woman named Guest Jules. Now, please don't ask me what this woman does because I have no idea. When I tried to like get like a idea of like who she actually is, I've only just seen her like hugged up with rappers and like her doing like hosting but not well so I'm not quite sure if she has any discernible talents besides being white and mediocre. Since her rise of infamy she said and done a lot of problematic things. The things that definitely jump out to me is when she was tweeting how black women are jealous of her because black men want her and how black women are such haters when it comes to her because again the monkeys want her okay sure sis congratulations weaklings love you and then I think another thing she had tweeted was like it was like a picture of like this t-shirt and it said niggas be lying which they do but I can say that because she said do y'all think I should cop this shirt that says niggas be lying and her um rationale behind that was because she's black men you see what the weak links do and how the rest of us gotta deal with it so last year she was on a podcast named the easily offended podcast there she was speaking on people like karen civil and scotty beam who she says have called her a racist and a culture vulture she is all of those things i <laughs> you know and how she has unfairly been given advantages against other black women and she has been allowed in spaces and places that other black women have a very tough time getting into which is true again she has no business being in hip-hop culture she's a terrible rapper I've never heard her make any poignant points when it comes to the topic of hip hop and rap. There, there is truthfully and honestly no reason for her to be in the space that she's in besides the fact that she's a white girl with a fat ass. There's nothing else that she brings to the table but being something that black men idolize and black men want to obtain for status. Versus there are far more talented black women in the hip hop community, whether they're bloggers or rappers themselves, that would 100% fit these spaces. It fit a lot of the opportunities she's given. These are facts. These are truth. I know people don't want to hear that they're unqualified, especially white people. Y'all don't like to find out that you're mediocre and not as good and you were given this because you're white. But sometimes you have to look at yourself and really think, am I really this good? Are you really? And yes, Jules is one of those people that I just wish she would look at herself and see the things she's done and the ways in which they've been mediocre compared to black women and how much more they've done and how little they've been given. She said that it's all bullshit, that that's not true. Us, the skin folk, we are aware that yes, Jules has no place in hip hop. Well, unfortunately, the gatekeepers of hip hop, black men, will always prioritize white women like Yes Jules over actually talented black women. She also brought up Karen Civil bringing up her old tweets. And I'm just like, yes, your old racist tweets that you typed out with your two fingers. And you can't tell me you're not racist because you are a white woman who pretends to be Latina. I'm not even going to get into the pretending to be spicy shit. But you're also from Florida. And I'm not saying every white person from Florida is racist, but it's Florida. And that's all I'm saying on that. Karen Civil does end up responding and is mostly just, so yes, Jules, had you bumped your head? Which I too would like to ask Miss um, Jules if she too has bumped her head and lost her rabid ass fucking mind. But 
she said that I never spoke about you. I didn't care that you were given the hosting gig on Rolling Loud. Personally, I don't think any black woman wants to host Rolling Loud because niggas get shot there. Like, if there is a place where someone is going to get shot at, it's Rolling Loud, and I wouldn't want to host there either. I think Scotty Beams kind of reiterated the same type of point, but also told her, if you have a problem, you can come see me, which, fair. You can't come see her if you truly got a problem, because she was very unnecessary and disrespectful in that podcast. I remember listening to it, one, not intelligible thing leaving this white woman's mouth, two, why is she always so willing to be disrespectful to black women but it's because black men have allowed her to do that so i'm not even gonna stick on that point so after the podcast is released after scotty beams and karen sybil make their responses yes jules is getting dragged and a lot of the things yes jewel has said and done in the past has come to life a freestyle where again she's attacking black women because black men have made her feel comfortable in doing so and then captain save a white woman Daniel Caesars hops his dumb ass online to defend her. Now, I also want to mention the fact that from then to today, Yes Jules has never, like, paid this defense any mind. She's never thanked him for coming to her rescue. She's never even acknowledged what he did. So he did all this for absolutely no reason. So he gets on his live to chastate black people and tell us that we need to be nicer to white people that us people like me we need to be kinder to the white people what a dumbass then he says something about like you know we can't hold white people accountable for the things the ancestors did which is fine because I'm holding them accountable for what they're doing today, okay? There's, like, I don't understand why people act like because, just because slavery ended don't mean shit sweet. Does it, like, because again, just last year, were our states not passing laws to not discriminate against people for their hair? Like, I feel like you think because slavery is over, everything's fine, where it's like, no, black people are still going through things. Again, Black people were not getting hired because of this, because the texture of their hair. Like, black people weren't getting jobs be off the pure shape that they were black. Like, I don't, I'm lost and confused about this whole, yeah, don't blame white people for what their ancestors did. Okay, but they're still doing shit today, so now what we gonna do, Daniel? What are we gonna do? Daniel Caesar goes as far as to say that us, us need to get with the winning team i.e white people which it'll be a it'll be a frigid do you hear me frigid day in hell i side with white people are you kidding me so now twitter is calling him uncle ruckus we honestly the day he got on instagram live and did all that nonsense we got some top tier memes on black twitter it was a glorious day it gets to the point where daniel caesar doubles down and i want to tell you that if you have to double down you're not in the right in the history of double downing no one has ever been in the right while doing it nobody so he doubled down and then he says something on, along the lines of if you don't like what i'm saying cancel me then make me poor stop giving me your money and his wish was granted I've not seen such a successful canceling in a really long time. Because up until this point, Daniel Caesar had a pretty good buzz around him. He had, um, I think it was that part where her, he was definitely like bubbling, like he was getting there. And this whole situation killed everything for him. Because where Daniel Caesar fucked up was, he, he at the time, he was a, a, a fairly new artist. He had yet to garner an actual loyal fan base yet so those of us who were just now getting into him maybe we only first have heard him from that part we had no ties to daniel caesar so to see him do all this bullshit and then be like cancel us cancel me we went okay bet and we cancel him <laughs> that's that is truly where he fucked up was he had yet to garner a loyal fan base that would stick by him through all of his bullshit. 
a lot of us were just getting into him and he did his own self dirty so now a few months after his cancellation daniel caesar releases case study number one and it goes triple aluminum that shit ain't go nowhere i think i remember that it was predicted to sell in copies three thousand this is the 2020 this is the, this was what 2019 when's the last time somebody has sold three thousand copies the 60s when i tell you that project came and flopped the streets wasn't stop talking about it. the streets didn't even know it dropped it was a sad day for daniel caesar that week Oh my god, because I remember someone being like, yo, this nigga album flop. And I was like, he dropped an album? Are you are you serious? Like, didn't nobody hear it? Didn't nobody hear it? Don't nobody talk about it and don't nobody like stand Daniel Caesar. And it's truly sad for him. Now, one person did say on Twitter was the reason why Daniel Caesar was able to be successfully canceled was because he was ugly. And they're right. Pretty privilege will stop you from being canceled. Daniel Caesar is objectively ugly. Like, objectively, not the most attractive person in the world. Especially compared to some of his peers that came after him. After he got canceled, yeah. The, the, lucky, the lucky days, no. He's not that fine. And he truthfully and honestly shoved mine in his ugly ass business. Because when you are not fine, you cannot do fine people things. I don't do the things fine people do because I know I'm not fine. And I stay in my lane. I play my role. Daniel Caesar, too much dip on his chip. Far too much dip on his chip. For me, this is definitely one of the few times that, like, cancel culture has really stuck. There have been a couple other times, but this stuck. Like, this stuck, stuck. Because that, that album, 3,000 copies? Usually, we should let this happen. You're... you're it shit rises. Did nobody care? We truly canceled Dale Caesar, and it's probably because he was ugly, because we wasn't missed now or nothing. Now, when he was trending on Twitter, some of you gave Daniel Caesar a little bit too much because I used to be a fan of Daniel Caesar. I actually really did enjoy his music and it hurt when he said these things because I was like, so much good music gotta be taken out of my playlist, and I take my music very seriously. But those of you who are acting like his music was the best thing that ever happened, let's cut it out. It was good music, but it wasn't this life-changing. Daniel Caesar does not make music that no one else could make. In my opinion, from the people that have come after him, any of them could make Daniel Caesar's music. I think right now when it comes to like black male singers, the only ones that make music that I feel like no one could have replicate the same could possibly be um, Black and like Shmino. Not Daniel Caesar. I think most of the people that make music similar to Daniel Caesar could do it the exact same way and garner the same amount of success. So y'all acting like it was a travesty having to cancel him. You're doing a little much. It was good music. But it wa he wasn't leaps and bounds better than his peers. He wasn't making music that no one else could make. Anyone could make Daniel Caesar's music. He just happened to be making it, and he happened to have a really beautiful voice to go along with it. Unfortunately, he wanted to be stupid and tap dance for white women, which he does say white women. And I, I'm just saying the weak links showing themselves. They show themselves. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. What do you think about the whole Daniel Caesar situation? Did you cancel Daniel Caesar? Are you one of the five people who still listen to his music? What would it take for you to cancel one of your faves? I've definitely canceled a bunch of people. That's because I have very particular morals and there's just some things I don't want to support. So for you, one of your faves, like your biggest, biggest faves, the person that you love the most, what would it take to make you cancel them? So yeah. That's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.